Chase Zaki here with the Blue Futon, and this out of the box review is Dead Silence Unrated. Directed by James Wan, I think it's his second movie right after Saw. Have I seen it before? Yes, I think I saw it in 2007, 2008 when it came out, and I enjoyed it. It was a low budget puppet movie, I remember, but overall, it made $22 million worldwide on a $20 million budget. So it didn't really make that much money. It lost some money. But now James Wan is one of the most influential horror directors of our time. But now, I would probably give it a good 56%. Just thinking about it right now, I know there's a twist ending. I don't remember it. But I'll remember it after I watch that this intro. Get ready for a new intro song too. I just got done watching Dead Silence. What's it about? Got a couple. Dude from True Blood, Suki's sister, and someone else. They got a weird package in the mail. It's a ventriloquist doll named Billy. And all of a sudden, Ryan, the real guy's name, but the character's name is Jamie, goes out for takeout. He comes back. His wife has been murdered, and her tongue is out of her head. Someone stole her tongue, and she is dead because she screamed. Now you have a cop, Donnie Wahlberg, who's trying to figure out who killed it. Cause he thinks it's the husband. So let's go to the backstory of it. Mary Shaw owns 101 dolls. And are the dolls real? Or are all the dolls fake? She's trying to make the perfect doll. So what is the perfect doll? Who is the perfect doll? And who dies in the process? The good of the movie. You can tell this is James Bond's second movie. He had a way bigger budget than Saw. He was trying new stuff. And I'll say one thing, the design, the editing, the camera work, and the actual presentation of the movie is absolutely top notch. You cannot doubt James Wan for that at all. For the directing, like I said, directing fantastic, editing fantastic, the look of the movie fantastic. Not a lot of CGI and I like that. He does a lot more practical stuff with his movies and you can only credit someone who's willing to do that. And I love his shots, there's a lot of shots where he points up and he goes down. He does that like five times in the movie. There's also stuff where he'll zoom in on a map, there's movement in the map, and it transitions very smoothly to the next scene. It's a very short movie, an hour and a half, which that's all the movie needs, and it's very good. The acting, well acted. You can't say anything wrong. It felt like an old school 80s movie, and I think that's what he was trying to do. I guess you say some of the bad is like the second half. Some of the pacing can be a little slow, as well as some of the dialogue, just some of it is kind of goofy. But I think they're trying to do that goofy dialogue, because it's supposed to be like an 80s kind of throwback. But the third half, really top notch. Not like how his movies are rated R, but his movies aren't R, just like The Conjuring, Saw, this, that sentence is very different. But his movies are R, not because of language, not because of strong gore, just the whole terror elements of his movies make it R. And I appreciate that wholeheartedly. So, Dead Silence. Great looking movie. Great story. Great sound effects. Totally forgot about that. The sound effects in the movie, you kind of know in older other movies where the music transitions and you know something's coming. Well, this one it gets silent real quick. And there's maybe, could be 30, 45 seconds of silence and you don't know what's coming. So you gotta appreciate that because a lot of horror movies give away their scares because of the yeah! ah! But this one is quiet. No bugs, no thunder. You just see the lightning, no click of the click clock, tick tocks of the cuckoo clocks, none of that. So I love the sound effects as well. But on the pace in the second half as well as the dialogue. But dead silence will receive a three and a half out of five blue futons, which equals a 70%. I actually like this better thinking about it because I haven't seen it in probably 10 years and that twist ending you kind of look back at it now and you're like oh snap it works really well not with just who it is but in the process of getting there as well but here is the Rotten Tomatoes critics and user scores of Dead Silence. All right here we go again critics at 21% users a 51% and here is the consensus more tasteful than recent slasher flicks but Dead Silence is undone by boring characters Bland dialogue and an unnecessary and obvious twist ending. I would have to disagree with the characters. Dialogue, yes, like I said in the second half, and the twist ending, you kind of knew the bad person in the movie, you did, but you don't know the layer of how the bad person got there and what this person did to get there. So if you saw that twist ending, congratulations on you. I'm one of those people that saw the twist ending of Interstellar in the first 10 minutes, or when I first saw the bookshelf and the book falling, I'm like, that's Matthew McConaughey. That was easy. Next. This one I thought it had more of a twist. 
that's just me. Are you with me with the 70%? You have the user score to the 51%? Or with the other critics, like the pull you to 21%? This is Chase Tiger with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this Blue Futon Utopia. You Blue Futonians. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. The dolls are very unsettling, aren't they? Yeah, they are. That's all I got. Dolls are unsettling. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world.